What's up guys, this is OSS from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor. And today I'm going to be showing you how to add words from your Gmail, your Facebook, and other apps onto your words list using User Dictionary Plus. So the first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to go to the Google Play Store and we're going to download User Dictionary Plus. The icon should look like a little book with a plus sign on it. And we're just going to open it up. And you'll get taken to this screen, and it'll, it'll say learn from SMS, learn from Twitter, learn from Gmail, learn from Facebook. And you can download the premium version of this app so you can learn words from WhatsApp. And the premium version is 129. So I'm just going to select my Gmail. And it'll ask me last synchronization, never. Obviously, I've never used this app before. And then we're going to import. So I'll click yes. And it'll say learning words from Gmail. It may take a while. Depending on how many words you, how many words not in the normal dictionary you use, the longer this will take. But as you can see, there's a limit of 100, and that's because uh, this is obviously the free version. The premium version allows for, I think, unlimited. So, as you can see, those are the two words that I've apparently created using Gmail. So we're going to add those words by just clicking. They're not actually words, but we're just going to add them, and we're going to click import and then I'll say two words are important so from there anytime I text or email those two words will be added to my words list so if I ever do press III it'll actually think it's a word instead of auto correcting me or asking me to choose a different word it's a really convenient app really easy to use you can learn Facebook I can do that yes I'm gonna have to you're going to have to log in. I'm not going to show you guys my password, but I'll log in. And then this is probably going to be the most useful because this is the thing that I use the most. So it'll probably aggregate way more words than Gmail did. So it's going to load. It's going to ask if you want to authorize it. We're going to obviously click OK. And then it's going to import. And again, this is capped at 100. So there you go. There's my name, which I would love it for to learn, and then my friend's last name, which it always autocorrects. So import those two words, and then those are added. So obviously the more words you use, the more will be imported. So I only had two of, for each of them, but if I used made up 100 different words, it would actually add all those 100 words. So this that's really the app. Um, you can back up. By clicking here, it'll set up a backup, and then it'll overwrite a previous backup, and all you have to do to load that is if you lose your phone or you clear your data or, or whatever the case is, if you reinstall this on your new phone or on a phone that was recently wiped, and then you click on backup, it'll actually restore it to the previous backup that you saved on your SD card or, or whatever external memory you, you actually had. And then if you want to clear the dictionary stuff that it's learned, you just tap on this. It'll ask you, do you really want to clear? You click yes and then it'll delete those words. So if you have words that you don't actually want it to learn, you can do that as well. So it's Use Your Dictionary Plus. You can download the premium version for 129. This is the free version. It's really cool, it's really easy to use, and it'll save you from unnecessary autocorrects. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial on the Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor. Thanks.